Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. So what I'm going to do today, I will show you how we can use LWC uh, with external service inside the flow. Um, it's pretty simple. You might have uh, come across this scenario before. I mean, I personally have built something similar, like where I have to get uh, data from an API using external service. And I have to display that in a custom way, uh, in a kind of a invoice or a report using an LWC and user can click on the button and can download it, right? I'm definitely not going to replicate that behavior here. So, but instead, I'm going to show you how you can use uh, LWC with external service. Now, if you're not sure about external service, right, how to use it, I've created a separate video a long time ago uh, when I was doing integration series. So I'll put the link in the description below or as well as look at the I button, right? Um, okay. Um, so, it's a pretty simple flow, right? The, and as well as LWC is concerned, there's nothing fancy here. I'm just passing a message and displaying it, right? And the only difference is that I'm passing this, I'm specified the target as lightning flow screen, uh, something which I've done in the last episode, so it's pretty much the same, right? The only difference is it's just getting a message and displaying it. Okay, now I'm getting this uh, external service, uh, and I'm passing the value of external service uh, to here. I drag and drop this component here and accept the message. So I'm getting a 200 response. So I'm just passing the value of one of the activity. So let's uh, debug it and, and see how it looks like. Okay, I run it. So I got to think of a new business idea. So obviously, this is just like a board fact. Uh, it's, it's giving us the random data from the API. So it's showing up on the screen. So uh, this is pretty simple, right? Now, um, you know, like I said, right, external services and LWC can get super complicated. So a couple of things you need to consider, you need to factor the error handling. What happens, right, if external service fails? Should you be passing, um, you know, failed message to LWC or shouldn't, or should you be storing it in the logger? That, it, it depends upon the way you wanted to build it, right, and the user experience. So, but... The, the, my main intention is to show you how this thing works. So that's all I wanted to talk in this episode. Hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday. Adios.